Hi, I'm Kara Lindell. Yep. I'm the founder of the Bridging Institute in Bridging, and this is Becky Logan, and what? she's one of our bridging specialists. And she's going to help me show you today how you can do some little bridging moves on your knees, yours or your child's, um, so they can feel better. And there's two different things we're going to show you. Um, we're going to show you what to do if you fall and it's just an oops, boom. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to show you some things to do if your child has growing pains. So um, one precaution before we get going is um, if it's an acute, like really ow, painful thing, you're going to go to the urgent care, the ortho urgent care and get it looked at. And what's the other um, reason that you might want to go and get it looked at? A lot of a lot of swelling. swelling. So if yeah. it balloons up, there might be something more to it than just an incidental oops that needs just yeah. a little um, a little extra care. If it's something that's just too much to touch too, yeah. you won't really want to touch too it. sensitive, yeah. So then you want to go to urgent care before you uh, do any of those. So what we're going to show you is first with the um, injury. So you want to mm -hmm. back up a little bit? So if it's not feeling so great, chances are you've already got it elevated on a pillow, or maybe iced it. And you know, if you got hurt, what you're looking for is someone to give you a hug and maybe just a little rock, and that's what we're gonna do at the knee. So you can do it yourself. Mm -hmm. It's just a hug, and then just a little rock, a little slow. And then once it feel like, feels like it's calmed down a little bit, you can get playful and just use a few fingers, a thumb and a couple fingers, and just playful up and down. What you're not going to do is focus on the kneecap. You're not trying to move the kneecap. This is all the muscle and tissue around the knee, above it, below it, and uh, just going back and forth. So if I was doing it to her, I'm going to reach across, I'm going to give it a hug. Not too firm, not too soft. If it's too soft, it's not going to do anything. A good hug, you bring it in, mm -hmm. and, but, but you all know, it's like too, too tight of a hug and it's not good either. So just a nice pressure and then rocking and then I'm just going to take a couple fingers and go up and down along the sides and just get it so it feels like it, uh, the muscles remember how to work together. I can use two hands and a little above and below. And uh, what we're trying to do is refresh the stunned memory of how the muscles got interrupted when they um, had the trauma. So, um, all right, if we're gonna have, have if, okay. this is good for, for the next step too. Um, when working with your kids or anyone who is sensitive to the touch, make sure you give them permission to tell you that they're pushing too hard or too light, um, that it's okay for them to give you feedback about what's happening in their body. Okay, thank you. However, we're going to show you what to do for some growing pains. Growing pains, remember, it's not just the knee, it's the muscles above and below. Those bones grew overnight, they grew a lot, the muscles and tendons have to catch up. So we're going to give them some wiggles to help them catch up. I'm going to use two hands and the motion I'm going to be doing is a little bit just back and forth. So I'm going to grab a spot here, I'm going to start at the ankle and just back and forth, back and forth, all the way up. And even if one leg is a little tighter or a little more painful than the other, do both because it's just kind of nice for both of them. So we're going to go up and down. There's no limit to how much you can do and how quick or how slow. Your child can be um, give you some guidance on that of what feels good to them. And the last thing is hold the knee. I'm going to hold one hand above the uh, knee or hold the ankle. And so the ankle stays still. I'm going to move the knee. I'm just wiggling the whole thigh back and forth but it gets some nice motion across the back connections of the knee um, without stressing them too much. Now your child, if their legs are tight from growing, may not move this easily, that's okay. Just do what they can. You're not trying to force anything. So they should be feeling better in no time. So come on up. And um, so those are just two things you can do. One, if you had fallen or um, for the growing pains and um, if you're not feeling confident or you're not getting quite enough help that uh, you're still feeling a little not steady at the knee, what are two ways that people can follow up? You can always connect to us and give us a call at the office. We can either give you an in-person appointment if you're somewhere nearby, 
or we can do a Zoom call and do a virtual. So we can coach you and uh, get any specifics worked out and be the confidence um, to what you're doing. So with that, hope your knees feel better and uh, see you soon.